Your mindset is the reason why you're not where you're supposed to be. I need you to confront you because you're the one holding you up. I need you to confront you. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not going to do me like this no more. You're not going to continue to sabotage me. You're not. You're not going to keep procrastinating. I need you. You're not. There are those of you who are looking at that person or that thing and saying, it's messing you up. That's not the truth. You messing you up. You always want to blame other people. You want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You just say you're giving 50%. You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? Everything that you want, everything that you dream of, everything that you want to possess is phenomenal except for you. Is it that you're not where you're supposed to be because you don't have what it takes? Are you not where you're supposed to be because you don't have the opportunity? No, 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 no. What it boils down to is you're not where you're supposed to be because you average. Every single thing you do is average. I'm suggesting to you that if you want to be great, that you're the first in the class and you're the last one to leave. I suggest that you study every single page. You take every single note. You listen to every single thing the teacher tells you. Beast mode. You go to the training and you're listening and you're writing. Beast mode. You have to get to a place where you become comfortable with being uncomfortable. We no longer place ourselves in positions that make us feel good. Because listen here, boo, some of what you want, some of what you trying to get ain't in the comfort zone. And so if what you want is not in the comfort zone, you got to come out of the comfort zone to get what you want. You are where you are because of your feelings. You're not on principles right now. That's not what drives you. You would be a millionaire right now if you stopped going back to bed. Yeah, you got the mentor. Yeah, you got the book. So what? The books can't make you get your butt up. But what can is your principles. And I want y'all to get to the point where you are mature enough to say that even though it does not feel good, even though I don't like it, even though it's not something that I want to do, I can't keep doing what I feel because it's not going to take me where I'm trying to get to. At the end of your feelings is possibly nothing. But at the end of your principle is a promise. And some of you are where you are. If you can be real with yourself, you have gotten yourself in some mess because of your feeling. You need to take personal responsibility for your life. It's about no more excuses. It's about no more trials and tribulations, not not happening, but getting in your way. It's about doing whatever it takes. It's about getting up as early as you need to. And your grind has to match your dream. You can't play as much as you used to play. You can't go where you used to go. You can't do what you used to do. And now you got to push your grind up to match your dream. I need you to pick your grind up. There's nothing wrong with your dream. You have a great dream. But your grind does not affect your dream. I need you to wake up every single day. And I need you to use your 24 hours like you've never used it before. You have to find a routine and stick with it and then when you find something good stay with it and if you would get to a place where you stop letting people and things take you into your feelings and take you off your game plan you would see yourself reach success more than you've ever seen it before you owe you to not make excuses i live on my term i owe myself i owe me i owe nobody else there's only one person responsible for your dreams becoming reality. If you walk out of here and you don't get the job, you don't have a job, don't you cry about it. You ask yourself, what have I not done? I will make sure I do everything in my power to make sure my mama eat. I will do everything in my power to make sure my wife ain't never got to work again. I will do whatever's in my power not to get up when you want me to get up or go to bed, not take a vacation when you want me, but take one when I want to. So I'm willing to do whatever it takes. You got the dream, but are you willing to do what it takes? And you're not winning because you're not talented. It's that other dumb stuff you're doing while you're not winning. And you gotta let it go. You're not serious about you. And you owe you. Nobody else owe you. You owe you to bring your excellence every single day. You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more, no, we working out now. No more alcohol, not right now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. Every single day, if you do what you say you're going to do, you're going to get what you dream to get. Do whatever it takes. You your biggest driver.